Good day, everyone. I'm Lauren, your Lori Live host. And I might be Owen. What do you mean you might be Owen? You've anchored before and they all know what your face looks like. And besides, our faces will be on the internet forever. Mwahaha. Anyways, I hope everyone had a really good long weekend because I know I sure did. Now, let's start off today's show by a video by Jane of us yummy grub facts. And who knows? You guys might even be able to learn something new. Mmm, fruit facts. When asked the question, what's the difference between a peach and a nectarine, most people say the fuzz. Essentially, that is correct. But while peaches are furry and nectarines are smooth, at one point in time, these fruits were actually one and the same. A gene variant was caused by time, differences in growing locations, and farming techniques. Yummy, 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 yummy fruit salad. Did you guys know that there is such thing as a fruit salad tree? This tree is created by attaching branches from different trees onto new ones. A single tree can hold up to six different types of fruits. The original plant is called the rootstock, while the added branches are called scions. The scions can be any type of fruit as long as they're in the same family, such as peaches, plums, nectarines, and apricots, or you can have the other type, which is oranges, mandarins, lemons, limes, and grapefruits. For those who don't know where cashews come from, there are such things as cashew trees, but not only that, there are even cashew apples. Mature cashew cashew trees grow bright red and yellow pear-shaped fruit, which are known as cashew apples. Cashews themselves grow inside a gray little shell hanging at the ends of those fruits. Hey Lauren, did you learn anything from that? A few of them I knew, but you know, there's always more stuff you can learn. True, true. You know, I have to say, April 26th has got to be one of my most favorite days of the year. And why is that? April 26th is pretzel day. All I'm going to eat all day is pretzels for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, and dinner. Only pretzels. Okay, don't think that seems very healthy. Eh, whatever. More for me. Well then, let's get moving on. Our second clip is an informational video made by Lena about the month of Ramadan. For those who do not know what Ramadan is, now's your chance to learn about it. Hi, today I'm going to be teaching you about the holy month of Ramadan. What is Ramadan? Ramadan is a celebration observed by Muslims all around the world. It takes place during the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and lasts about a month long because it follows the lunar cycle. Ramadan is a very important celebration in Islam. It is a time of spiritual reflection and self-improvement. During the month of Ramadan, all Muslims fast from pre-dawn to sunset. They do not drink water or eat food and refrain from sinful behavior. If you have a health condition, are pregnant or breastfeeding, traveling or menstruating, you should not fast. Fasting is to cleanse the soul, feel empathy for the less fortunate, and build self-discipline and self-control. It is also mandatory to complete the five daily prayers during the month. Fajr, Zuhur, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha, as well as read the Holy Quran. We also give out food and money to the less fortunate as charity, which is called Zakat. Every day, Muslims have a pre-dawn meal, which is called Suhur. The meal at sunset to break your fast is called Iftar, it's important to know that iftar and dinner are not the same thing. Think of it as a snack before you eat dinner. Eid al-Fitr marks the end of the month of Ramadan. We dress in fine clothes and go out to communal prayers, distribute food to others, as well as give and receive gifts from our fellow brothers and sisters. To know more about Ramadan, do a quick Google search to learn about this important celebration in Islam. Thanks, Alina, for teaching us more about Ramadan. Hey, Owen, wait. I have some new information about our photography challenges and our changes that we'll be starting this week. What's new about the challenges? 
This week's photography challenge will be featuring the theme, the beauty in, in the ordinary. So try taking an ordinary object like a book or maybe a tree or something and try putting it into a new perspective or one that's less commonly found. The winner of the challenge's photo will be featured in our Friday show. So don't forget to send in your pictures and tune into the Friday show. We will be announcing new challenges every Monday. So don't forget to stay tuned. Here's a clip explaining the photography challenge in greater detail. Hey Sir Will, this week we have a special photography challenge. What's this week's theme? Finding beauty in ordinary things. You can take a picture of a random object in your house. Well, as long as you capture in a way that makes it, well, beautiful. Here are some examples for you. Make sure to hand in your photos by Thursday. Send them to our Instagram account at laurie.live or if you want, you can send them to our Twitter account at laurielive. You can even hand it in in our Google Groups at laurielive at googlegroups.com. And remember, don't hand in any selfies or pictures of your pets because those will not be counted. Have a great day, so well. Um, I can't really see the window from where I'm sitting, so I have no idea what it's like outside, and I'm too lazy to ask anyone. I bet Jamil does, though. Maybe we should ask him about the weather. How's it look? Thank you, Lauren. Today we're starting off with a mainly sunny, minus 1 degrees, that feels like minus 7. That will thankfully rise in the afternoon to 10 degrees, that feels like 7 degrees. If the projected weather is right, then this will be the only day that stoops into the minuses. Speaking of, let's take a look at this week's weather. Tomorrow and Wednesday will be mostly sunny and both feel around 18 degrees. Next, the overall temperature starts to drop going into Thursday with a mainly sunny 16 degrees. Then we are to expect some light rain on Friday with 15 degrees. That's all for me. Back to you, Owen. Wow, it really looks like spring. That means it's officially not allowed to snow anymore. Yeah, you're right, but that also means it's allergy season with all the pollen and dust everywhere. Emma Lynn here has the next clip to help explain more about that. What you are about to witness is a human suffering dearly. I'm not suffering! <laughs> due to something known as allergies. Viewer's discretion is advised. Oh, and one more thing. If you laugh at their pain, you are a terrible person. I made this so people could laugh. Enjoy. <laughs> ah, stop trying to run. I need you. Stop. Oh my God, it's so hard to breathe out my nose right now. Seriously? All you gotta go is, <sighs> it's not that hard. What? Oh, why do my eyes burn? <laughs> oh, I know. I'll take some eye drops. <laughs> oh, why does it burn more? Thank you, Emmalyn, but I laughed, so I guess I am a horrible person. Yeah, Owen, you absolutely are a terrible person for laughing at that. Well, that's all for us today, Sir Will. Please tune in on Friday the 30th for our next show. We'd love to see what you Lancers have been up to. Uh, please send in your stories, photos, or videos to us. We can be reached at laurielivegoogroups.com, on our Instagram at laurielive, or you guys can even tweet us at laurielive. Have a fantastic pretzel-filled week, Sir Will. Have a great day, everyone, and see you guys Friday. Just hands.